Life will always come in seasons and our seasons are forever changing. This is the end of our one and a new one for the new executive that's to come in. Junior Council has given me one of the greatest um, experiences that I'll ever have. Uh, it's provided so many opportunities um, being the junior mayor. So Evangie has really evolved as a person. Um, I, I see a, a student now who has so much confidence. From year eight, I was actually interested in junior council and so by the time I got to year 10, the excitement had built up and I really wanted to get involved. My student council teacher came up to me and just said, oh, you love politics and anything to do with council is an opportunity. The Gold Coast City Junior Council started in April 1993 and it is still going strong today. Well, Junior Council is a leadership and civic participation program. Part of Junior Council is engaging high school students, both private and public schools. So you're getting young people from all over the coast coming together in one room. It provides an opportunity for young people to have a voice. And we at Senior Council look forward to hearing from you. I saw the Junior Council as an opportunity for self-development and also for leadership development. I thought firstly I'd get to meet heaps of people that probably like to be involved in community activities just as much as me. And secondly to talk about issues that affect the youth, to discuss local issues. You believe that your ideas are actually worth something while at school you're just a little person but here you mean a lot. Congratulations. That's what we're looking for in a leader. We're not looking for someone who's exactly the same as anyone else. We want someone who's got the confidence to be themselves. We are going to be in the power and the control of this country and I think we need to equip a lot of young people with the confidence to do so. Basically improves their self-confidence, um, it gets them comfortable with public speaking and taking on responsibility, but it also gets them more connected with their community through the partnerships that they basically form. I suppose part of the Junior Council program, we're quite privileged to actually meet in the chambers where decisions are made. So it's got a, a balance of formal and informal components. This is where they do make the big decisions and I think definitely with the, you know, you've got the executive team sitting up there, it really has a realistic feel to it. The most amount of votes. In terms of events, I guess the one thing that we could always go back to would be Youth Achievement Award. They are just brilliant and just the organisation of the young people in all their groups to bring that together is just incredible. The opportunity to go and see the Dalai Lama in Brisbane, I think that's something that is a one in a lifetime experience. With the Commonwealth Games bid, uh, that was a really good experience that I really did enjoy. Literally a dream come true because I've always wanted to be involved in a process like that. We do icebreakers and energisers, so it's an opportunity for young people to get to meet one another through a range of activities. I think it's also really nice to see how close they get to one another through the program and through those processes. A lot of friendships are made and obviously sustained outside of Junior Council. There are so many great people from all different backgrounds, from all different schools, and I think they all have something special to bring to the tables. When they finish the program, they, you know, they get up and they're confident and happy to talk about different issues and things like that. $35. I'm very excited for the new team that's coming up because you know, I see a lot of potential in them. Um, making a greater tomorrow for the youth of today, which uh, I really want to leave you guys with. Uh, uh, the speech process was interesting. It was quite daunting getting up and I know that you do have that feeling of, you know, you're not really 
confident in yourself, but it was good at the end of the day, I guess, to be elected. If I was to be successful in becoming your 2012 Gold Coast Junior Mayor, I'm standing here to ensure that the Gold Coast is a decent place to be. I was blown away by the speeches today. I think that the calibre of people who were applying for those positions was sensational. I think that they all have something different to bring to the table, all their unique skills and talents. And it was so good to see other young people wanting to get involved and wanting to lead this council. It's quite a humbling feeling really uh, to, to wear those chains. Others have worn them in the past and to get the chance to be able to represent like the others, it's quite a humbling feeling. A couple of months ago I strongly believed I had no chance at all to stand here before you as the newly elected Junior Mayor. I'm excited at the tasks before me, humbled by your trust, honoured and ready to lead us as one. We are a team. I don't want anyone to forget that. It's in good hands, the future of Junior Council. These young people that come to our council meetings, I see them being involved in local government in the future. They're changing lives. That's what our young people are doing when they come here.